we have here. So we'll check in with Ted now. He's got Tracker up in Jackman. Ted, how is the excitement there? Uh, it is a wild scene, Colleen. We are here amongst at least 10,000 people. That's They've guessed between 400 and 600 cars on 201 arriving every hour. Uh, and it feels like there's just more and more people coming in. Quite the buzz. A lot of people from all over ran into people from San Francisco, ran into people from uh, Brooklyn, ran into people from uh, the Canada. The, in fact, the Royal Canadian Astronomy Club is here across the way. They have all these telescopes. I guess I just didn't realize how many telescopes there are. I do want to pan over and show what What's going on right over here? Uh, the University of Maine uh, teamed up with Versant Power, and they have uh, part of the NASA program with 35 spots along the path of totality, and they are right here. They have all their equipment along with some amateurs here, uh, and they're getting ready to uh, capture this with us here. But it is quite the scene. You talked about the weather. I mean, Jackman, Maine should be, in probability, cloudy this time of year, 88% chance of it. Uh, and it is mud season. It is very muddy. Uh, this is usually the slowest part of the season. The snowmobile trails are done. It's not hunting season. It's not quite the summer recreation, and it is packed to a point where you can't even move anymore. Uh, and and uh, they are definitely worried about the ride home because 201, is the only road in and out of town and everybody will be leaving at the same time. That's what they don't want. They want people to hang out, uh, let things uh, move out. Uh, there are a ton of people. Uh, there's an overlook just six miles down the road. There's been people fighting for spots there. There are, they said that there are basically cars lined up on 201 almost to the forks to give you an idea how, the, how many people population of Moose River, uh, Dennistown in Jackman is about 1,100. And uh, yeah, they're uh, a lot bigger. Host